Well guys, the weather's finally changing at last. Happy days, it's still a bit breezy, still not like summer or spring or anything decent really. Anyway, but let's get straight into this. So we've got this Bison electric outboard motor, 68 pound thruster. And look at that, there you go, eight speed. So it's got five forward, three reverse. I've had these before, but this is even powerful than this one. This is the 68 pound thruster. So we're gonna do it to power our boat this time. And the boat's so light this time, it'd be amazing, it'll handle well. And the boat, the best thing is because the boat is so light. Um, the boat is so light, it won't use as much electricity, you know, to power it because it runs on electricity. These um, engines, Bison is probably about the best mate you can have as well doing these. Anyway, without further ado, we're going to open it up and show you what you get in this a lovely box. And these are probably the the best engines you can get. I love these engines, Bison. I'm not being biased, but I've had a couple of other engines before, but Bison are about the best engines you can probably get on these motors. They're really, really good for the price as well. They're they were roughly around a three hundred pound mark. You might be able to get them cheaper. I mean, I think I got this a bit cheaper. Um, but I bought mine in winter and I've had it stored in here in the workshop until now. But if, if you buy it in the summer, it's dear obviously but this is a really good engine and i love them it's got a telescopic handle little clamps there and all that uh, and as he pardon it can do 360 degree turns you've seen if you've seen my videos before you'd have seen how great these engines really really are anyway i'm not going to faff around i'm going to open it up and then i'm going to mount it on my satchel that i've modified to take as a well, i'll put this beam across on my satchel here on on there like that, to modify it to see if it fits on there as my engine uh, mounting bracket thing to store it in like so uh, let's, without further ado let's get on with it so the great thing is you get um, spur propellers on this three belated weed chopping propeller so if there's any tough weeds out there it'll chop them up and then ready sealed and they come with their own spanner and bolts and washer and bolt packets which is perfect just like that, in case you ever lose it. And then you obviously get the instructions as well. And all I've got to do now is fit the propeller on and then we'll test it. Uh, as you can see, it's down, down there, easy really. So I better crack on with that. Okay, so how to put the uh, propeller on. It's really, really easy. That's what you get there. You get a split pin or a pin, and then you get a washer and a nut. And you obviously get the um, screwdriver and the weed chopping propeller. If you look at the back of the propeller here, there you can see um, you can see that bit there that fits in just like that, it's easy as peas. So what you do, that's where the pin goes obviously. So what you do, you stick your pin in, you stick the pin in first like so. Uh, try and line it up so it's level as possible last way obviously I'm doing it with one hand so it's a bit more tricky just put me up some bolts down there for a sec and then you line it up it's always a tendency for the pin to start moving around line it up give it a bit of a wiggle right it's in like so I mean it's obviously easy with two hands just for the purpose of this video I can't put the, the camera on the tripod so you couldn't see different angles you see so anyway you stick your washer on like so then you get your locking nut in place and then uh, you put it in make sure it's square that's it just like that Then you get your spanner. Or you can use this socket. But they always give you this spanner because in case you're out in the water and you damage your propeller. And turn it. Hold on a minute. That's better. You just turn it around. Right, so you're better off holding the propeller while you do it. Okay, so once that's done, 
that's looking great now it's time to check the motor see if it works okay folks so i've got a super bat there it's a fantastic battery these are the best batteries you can money can buy a calcium one 110 amps easy peasy just connected it to there with these quick release ones positive negative dead easy sort of safety that way it's not going to get any water on it or anything like that and then the propellers all done and then i have to struggle a bit up here because i'm high up and there's the gears in the outside the throttle off it goes forward 